Well, look at this little ditty. We got Little Red 2.0 back in the garage with some mild cross-eyedness. Uh, this tire is straight, as you can see. So this tire is pretty much straight. It's always had that kind of camber to it. This tire got knocked out. So what had happened was this arm bent when he hit that tree. It didn't bend the, you know, the arm or anything coming off the frame. So that'll be a quick fix. We're going to swap it out with some thicker uh, spindles from Go Power Sports. So that'll be fast. And this old thing spit some some oil out of that filter. You can see it or So we're going to be adding a few nice little parts to this thing. So let's start stripping this puppy down. We've been installing a custom built aluminum gas tank from Brad Hill on this go kart, as well as an aluminum Go Power Sports top plate to give them a little bit better throttle feel and aluminum oil catch can to capture that blow by coming out the valve cover. We'll be putting on the heavy duty Manco spindles to give this go kart a little bit stronger front end. We're going to throw on the Go Power Sports clear valve cover so we can see that valve train work, as well as a pulse pump on that top plate so we can locate the gas tank up on the front of the frame. So on this Little Red 2.0, Matthew actually came over just to get a uh, spindle, that new spindle put on. And I was like, hey, this is like pimp my ride. Let's fix it up. So this is Matthew, the bald guy with the beard. Gordon. <laughs> oh, Gordon. And uh, I actually sold Little Red 2.0 to him a long time ago. And he's been enjoying it on his dirt track. He's the one with the dirt track. Someone asked, uh, What's with the guy just standing in the woods? Well, it's his property, so. He can stand wherever the crap he wants. <laughs> and uh, so we're fixing up. What I'm gonna do with the oil catch can, I normally mount them on the side cover. And it's always a pain. It takes like 30 minutes to mount it right there. 
So instead, I got I bent up this oh boy, I bent up this aluminum bracket. I'm going to bolt, put some Teflon tape around this, and bolt it right there so we won't get any vacuum leaks. And uh, put it on the back of the top plate. I think it'll look pretty sweet and be out of harm's way and all that jazz. So that's what we're doing now. And then we'll swap out those spindles. And then he'll have him a sweet, even sweeter, even sweeter. Go kart. Little Red's awesome. We just, the only reason we sold it was one reason he wanted it really bad. And another was because we got so many projects, we just can't keep them all. And we have Little Red, so I don't think Little Red will ever go anywhere. And we just uh, spruced it up, which I don't know if that video is out yet or not. But you'll see where we just got it running, put a little bit stouter engine on it. And we'll be taking it to the dirt track to, to riff around a bit. Mm -hmm. The good thing about selling the go kart to your buddy is it's always, it's always better. Yeah, like Matthew just said, the good thing about selling a go kart to your buddy is it's always around. So if we ever need to make a video with it, it's just right now. He lives like. What do you say? Three miles from here, two miles? miles. So it's always close by if we wanted to film it. I think in the future we talked about lengthen this frame like what do you say, like six inches? Yeah. In the you know, cutting it like right in this area and making it six inches longer. We may uh, any he, and he wants a racing style seat on it because this thing will beat the life out of you on that dirt track. I had that bruise on my butt cheek from Father's Day for two solid weeks <laughs> from, the, from that rail right there. So until uh, until the racing seat comes, whenever that is, that's no rush. I'm going to have to put some foam padding on those rails. Uh, we had a hoot, but yeah, that thing beat me to death almost. Not really. So that will screw right there and hold that out of the way so i got the gas tank and everything put on you can buy these little breathers on amazon they're for dirt box i like to put them these uh brad hills gas tanks have a little breather hole but if it sloshes gas it's going to end up on your floor pan and on your gas tank so that'll keep it from that both of these links are in the description where you can contact brad hill he'll build you the same one or a custom tank then if we come to the back we have the go power sports top plate a uh, pulse pump from go power sports we ran out of the red line we really wanted to run all this in red line but we ran out we got some on the way and a catch cam from go power sports as well and we put that clear valve cover and matthews trade me the rbg one for that clear one so that'd be pretty sweet uh so now we have to pull those spindles off uh, we're just going to replace them and it'll lift the front of his go-kart just a little bit i'm talking an inch at most First, got to unhook these uh, tie rods. I used to use Stover nuts on everything, and I don't like them anymore because they're bad about um, eventually they can seize up on you. And I don't like that. I've had to cut a few of them off. So be careful using them. And I wish uh, this frame didn't have the Springer spindles because the way Matthew's treating it as a dirt track car, uh, it's going to eventually bend this because it's so tall and the only thing that's holding pressure is the spring. So eventually we'll cut this off and put a standard uh, C on it, you know, and delete this spring. You can see this was the offset spindles where that bolt is welded up at the top. We're putting one where this bolt is welded dead center so it'll lift the go-kart a little bit see the difference so it's going to lift it around about an inch and you can see the thickness difference between these two it's double twice as thick yeah so, so it's going to be strong i'll be able to hit a tree twice as big twice as fast before as anything hard. bends hmm. 
There's spiders all over this thing. Oh boy, oh boy. This one was fine. This one didn't bend, um, but we're replacing it anyways. We're running a, a one inch spacer on this wheel. Again. And these Springer front ends can be a little bit of a pickle because you got to kind of press the spring in there. Ah. Yeah, so now we, we'll have to adjust these in just a smidge. They're backwards. That's good. So this one needs drawn in. So once you get these loosened, you know, one's standard thread, one is reverse thread. You can see as I turn it in, it pulls it in. As I turn it out, it does the opposite. So you gotta keep loosening this, this lock nut. A little bit crusty. This tire is pretty straight. What do you think? Yep, that tire is good. This one needs to go. Still. I need to grab some some pliers. And this is off road, so it's not like it. It's just right, right there. All right. Steering wheel is pretty straight. That one's pretty straight. And these are cambered out, but they was like that when we first built this. Another satisfied customer. We had to get Matthew's uh, Little Red going really good because we're going to be taking My Little Red out and we're going to be ripping around in those woods. I think My Little Red is going to be really fun because those slicks will let you spin like crazy. With my weight on his cart, his grips really well with me on it, so it's hard to get it to kick sideways. But it's fun though.
Yeah, 100 times better. Maybe not 100, but a lot. <laughs> the throttle response is significantly better with that throttle plate on there. Yeah, those throttle plates, when we had modified the factory little throttle plate. So those throttle, and that'll work for a good little free thing to get you by, but those throttle plates give it 100 times better brake feel, or throttle feel. Yeah, oh. yeah, there's, it's so much more crisp. Yeah. No lag, you don't feel like you're having to wind it out to get all the power band out of it. So the next thing to upgrade is take off the mechanical disc brake and uh, put a race car style brake system on it the hydraulic so that that'll be the next appointment he'll have over here and that gas tank from brad hill looks freaking sweet on this frame i like it a lot and it's out of harm's way so if there ever was a fuel leak you know it's not gonna catch anything on fire we've had that happen no 670 repeats yeah so another customer gone 700 bucks I didn't charge him. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is kind of a random video. I forgot he had to. I forgot he wanted these things done, so uh, we went ahead and gave him a bunch of add-ons because, you know, we're going to take and see what we can do with uh, the standard Little Red against Little Red 2.0 in the woods. So stay tuned for that video very soon. Thank you guys and God bless. Rub Your Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Red Beard discount code in the upper right-hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.